Scott, I know your roots are in the South. Well, mine are too, and I've been here for, well, my whole entire life. And so I'm gonna cook for you this great Southern dish. You're just gonna love it, and it's gonna stay in your home forever. I'm gonna bring some of this Southern cooking right into your home today. So, this is how it's done. We got these sweet potatoes out of the garden. We got our oil up to about 325 degrees. Make sure that um, they're dry because they'll brown a lot better if they're dry. This is how you make it crispy. This is the big trick. They go in at 325 and you keep them in there for about five minutes, bring them out, put them back in at 350 for about two minutes and you'll have the crispiest potatoes to be as a bed for your venison. This is the venison hind quarter that one of my sons got and I split it down the middle already um, horizontally to give it more surface area so that I had more flavoring for my spice rub. And I've already sprinkled it on it, but I'm gonna add a little bit more to it. And I'm just going to put that in my skillet and brown it on both sides, and then I'm gonna let it rest for about five minutes. I'm gonna get a little bit of oil and put it right in my hot pan, and I can see that it is already smoking hot. All right, take my meat over here and listen to it sizzle. I love that sound. Okay, I'm gonna cook it for about three minutes on the first side, and then probably I'm gonna turn it over and do two minutes on the other side, and it'll be just perfect. I made some gravy, and all you have to do, so simple, put a little bit of butter, a little bit of flour, some either chicken stock or beef stock, I did beef stock, put a little bit of soy sauce or Worcestershire sauce in it, you've got it made. Let it simmer, and it turns into a really great, thick gravy. Time to flip the meat. Nothing sears meat like a cast iron skillet. Have to have one. It's time for me to get these off this grill. Okay, I'm gonna let that cool for about five to 10 minutes. All right, and it looks like the temperature's ready for our fries. We're gonna put them right in. This is the second go round. I'm gonna leave those in there for only about a minute or two, and then I'm gonna get them right out. All right, now I'm going to move over here and make the last thing, which is my fresh egg, okay? All right, watch this handy work. Okay. Your family is not gonna know what to do. They're gonna want you to make this at least three times a week. I'm gonna put a little bit of my dry rub right on the fries. Our meat is ready to be cut and I can't wait to see how good it looks. Always cut your meat across the grain and you will not believe how wonderful and how tender it is. Now, it is time to plate this dish and this is my favorite part. It all comes together now. I'm going to just use my hands and put my fries right on the plate. We're real rustic in the South, so I'm just gonna put my meat anywhere and everywhere. Okay, I've got my gravy over here. I'm gonna put that right over the top of the whole thing. Okay, my egg is ready. Play it right on top. And now I'm gonna top it with some of the onions that one of my kids just picked from the garden. And then I'm gonna dig in, and I'm gonna be stuffed and feel bad and know that I have to exercise double tomorrow. Little color, a little bit more flavor. And there you have it, the best southern dish around. Smothered sweet potatoes topped with venison and a fresh egg.